Yo, sorry, I had to stop. Our counter just went to 200,000 kilometers. We are Nick and Mathilde, and in 2022, we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender. Europe, the Americas, Australia, Asia and Africa, we want to see it all. This is day 567, and we are in Argentina. Welcome to the next Meridian Expedition. Somewhere in the Argentinian Lake District. We arrived in Argentina and reunited with our good friend Tom. Yeah. For those who don't know him, you can go back to the videos of Canada and the US. And now we're exploring the Great Lakes region in Argentina. What are we hoping for this week? We're gonna catch some massive trout. Definitely. Uh -huh. Cook uh, some good steaks on our barbecue. Oh yeah. Chilling out, uh, hiking. A lot no, of sun. No, yeah, it's not allowed to rain or snow. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a week set for failure. <laughs> Where to first? Let's go straight to the groceries yeah. and then just go find another lake. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's it. Alright, let's do it. Damn. <laughs> Last week, we entered into Argentina from Chile. Just here. We have now officially entered the famous region of the Patagonia that encompasses the southernmost end of the South American continent. There, we met with our Kiwi friend Tom, with whom we planned our next adventure. This week, our explorations will bring us into the Lake District of Argentina, known for its hiking, fishing and skiing. Lake hopping and the majestic peaks feels like the perfect program and who better than our adventurous friend Tom to do that. Grocery shopping time, I need to go monitor what those stores are doing because when you leave them alone, you never know what you're going to get and I want to eat good food. Let's go. I was looking for you everywhere and I was like, where are those two? We were into the toilet together. <laughs> <laughs> That's lemon for the fish we don't have. That's lemon for the fish we're going to catch. There's lots of fish that we catch. <laughs> <laughs> we're only getting groceries because why not, but we're going to eat fish the next three days. Uh-huh. Judging by how much food we loaded up in this cart, we might have been doubting our ability to feed ourselves solely on fished fishes. From the town of San Martin, we head into a new valley with one objective in mind. Catch a fish. Just in case we don't, we bought a few delicious empanadas before taking the road. Mm, cheesy. Cheesy. Oh, one hour and five minutes until the turn off. Oh, that's quite a long way. next to this superb lake and it's windy and a bit rainish but weather will not get better before two days so we need to deal with it and so the guys are going to take their shot on this lake at fishing let's see how it goes we've been together for already three days and our fishing track records were not impressive we're at zero fish 
but it's just too hard to catch. And no, we're, we're too, too much current. We're too shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we said we're too good weather and fish. We and got it's bad weather. raining and we have no fish. Literally, the closest we have been to a fish is this quite original approach mm. made by Tom to catch a trout seen in a tiny stream. Gosh! Is he gone? He's gone! And as much as we wish this day would be different, it did not feel like it. Ah, there's no fish in here. Oh, an empty pond. <laughs> Ravioli tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Are you giving up? Yeah. No, no, no. We're just taking a break. Just, Until just tomorrow. Time out. Yeah. <laughs> no, never give up. It's, you know what the problem is? What? It's just the sky is not blue enough, there's a little bit too much wind, uh -huh. uh, the temperature's like half a degree off. And, yeah. But the yeah. fishermen are not to blame. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we're top notch. No, yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Full of energy, extremely hyped, and we're super pros. So. Oh, yeah. Right, Tom, you caught something? Yeah, a huge one. Huge one, it's pulling, it's pulling. Get the, get the net, get the net. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Don't cut a rock. <laughs> it did not work this time. Luckily, we don't need fish to eat delicious food. So burger night tonight, tomorrow we will eat fish. If you follow us since long enough, you would recognize this tent. We gifted it to Tom when we got our new shower tent. And now, this tent has a second life on the road with Tom and Jerry. <laughs> this morning it's fishing morning so Tom and I were taking Jerry and we're going fishing <laughs> oh, it's so shit. oh yeah man yeah man <laughs> oh, thank you <laughs> Tom's got a full water proof pants and I only have boots. And that is too deep. All right, I think this is where we'll fish. The river goes straight into the lake. Let's hope we can catch some fish. Did you catch anything? Really? I got a present for you. I did. Actually. What? Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Third day, we finally caught our fish. What is that? That's a brown trout. Brown trout. Uh, on the menu uh, then for lunch is a freshly fished sabai Tom and Nick, uh, accompanied by a simple but delicious casserole of rice and its cooked tomatoes and onions, all of this seasoned by a very elegant salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! <laughs> da -da -da. Ready? Reveal. <laughs> That looks legit. It looks legit. It looks Get too legit. It's actually really good and uh, tender, very tender. You know how it is? It's the delish fish. It's the delish <laughs> fish. And we eat it up right next to the lake where we fished. Mm. Stuck. Nice! <laughs> Alright, Moustique is going up, he's ready.
Fish for lunch, beautiful tracks in a superb valley with giant puddles to drive in. Today seems like it cannot get any better. And it did not. Quite the inverse actually. And the bad luck streak started. With a drone crash. Okay, this is the first crash of Moustique since a year and a half, so broken here, chipped here, this one is fine and this one is completely missing, but lucky for us, got tons of spares, nice. A bad crash, but at least we recovered the drone and we cheer ourselves up with more mud puddles, but that's where we did not see coming the next problem. Those puddles were actually the direct cause of our next issue. We realized something was wrong when we lost all power in the engine. <laughs> Housing for the thing is not cracked. Oh, oh f f we found it. Oh no! Dude, that's oh, the problem. That was my last one. And it was, that's the suction thing. Like it completely yeah. like yeah, it pulled it. Because it's got wet. We haven't too much fun. <laughs> yeah. Make a makeshift filter, just with some cloth. I mean, what else do you have? Nothing. <laughs> we have a lot of water. <laughs> We're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun on the moment. We just had the conclusion of this whole story. <laughs> They're idiots. <laughs> it was our last air filter. We were planning to get some in a week or two. We're on the fabrication of a improvised DIY air filter. <laughs> Any comments on the um, Well, Elbow's gonna run like a dream after this. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go it's so gonna fast. Alive. We just hope it doesn't get uh, sucked into the, to the, the engine. turbo. Yeah. The engine. Get rid of those sleeves. We don't need sleeves on an air filter. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs sleeves. <laughs> well done. I'm gonna drive slowly till the campsite to make sure that nothing happens to the engine, but should be fine. And luckily for us, we're back on good roads. So we shouldn't be getting too much dust. At this point, all we want to do is stop for the night until we can sort out that air filter problem the next day. But yet again, somehow, that day was not the day. And on our way to camp... I need diff lock to set in. <laughs> you're digging in, you're digging in. Now nah, you're gonna have to pull me out. <laughs> this is nuts, man. We're just going to the beach. <laughs> this is not our most successful day. We got a drone crash, an air filter drown, and now we're stuck. Damn, that's deep. <laughs> What's up? What's up, brother? <laughs> oh man, she's stuck. <laughs> oh yeah, we're good. Let's keep going though, keep going. This feeling of being pulled by Jerry is familiar because if you remember, we crossed the entire lens of Grand Teton towed by Jerry. If you didn't see that, that's back in the USA videos and it was epic. The good thing with friends is that you always have an excuse to put your problem behind and we are well determined to move forward on the following day. It starts really well, even with a fake filter on. And we are lucky. On day four, the sun is out. We slowly reached the city of Bariloche, where we miraculously found someone with an air filter adapted to our Land Rover. 
Luckily, our homemade t-shirt filter held on well until then. Albo starts like it's brand new, but we will need to come back to fix the leak in our air intake system in a few weeks. In the meantime, no more crazy river crossing. Boring. Right now, we want to make the most of the sunny days and we head straight to the park of Nawel Wapi. A beautiful day, everyone's happy. We've got tons of food in case we don't catch fish. We're not going to starve. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe you have too much food. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> we don't catch anything. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I feel it. Ooh. You see the drippy, I feel it. Ooh. Up in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. Just a short break to add more to the view. Super beautiful. Really. Look at this. Yo, it's quite shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Don't shade, that's a no, 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 no. Go high, go low, low, low. Alright, I mean, hopefully at the lake, I think there should be an entrance like this from where it looked like at the camp spot. And then on the other side, a big lake, so we can go fish. Yeah, I know, it looks amazing. Alright, and if there's no fish, we'll come back here. What's happening? trying to get to a camp spot and it's very bushy but it looks awesome and uh, Tom's leading the way so I hope we find something sweet the river looks really nice I think we found our camp spot for the night let me bring you around so we have albatross in this very very tiny forest street that we find right next to a very flowing river, crystal clear. Preparing the pizza dough, huh? For tonight, pizza party. Oh, nice. Okay. And I'm helping with whatever eating. is needed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Yo. You catch fish today? Oh, yeah. Because the ratio is not good. We're calculating with Nick. We had one fish for three people from four days of fishing. <laughs> We've gone hungry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. We need to catch up on that. But the river looks really nice. We've officially decided to skip this scene because, well, it was just another eventless fishing afternoon. Dead. <laughs> I'm not sure good food every dinner is helping our determination to catch something. Tonight, pizza! <laughs> because all the time you can use to get the cheese melting oh, okay, okay. is worthy time. Oh man, this is some serious stuff. A little food is serious too, man. Yeah, yeah. man. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that is good. Phew. That's why we got it. What's the next part? The next spot is hiking spot, right? Yep. 80 kilometers till the glaciers, and then we hike two kilometers, steep, steep, steep to the top. Yep. Probably not the top. Get some mad views. Get some mad views. <laughs> this time we're not gonna fish. No. We're gonna take a fishing rod for a walk. Yep, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go see All right. It. Cool. We're off to reach the end of the road in the park where lie the glaciers when an important milestone puts us to a stop. Yo, sorry, I had to stop. Our counter just went to 200,000 kilometers. 200,000? Happy elbow! Nice! It's amazing! 
It's like a birthday for a car. Yeah. 200,000. Boom. Incredible. I'm very emotional. Good job, Abo. So it means <laughs> since the beginning we've done 76,000 kilometers. Nice. Nice. <laughs> cool. Wow. All right, that's it. We're ready to go. Nice. When we bought the car, I think we had 92 or something like that. And then when we left on this trip, we had 124. The region is known for its hiking trail, but most did not reopen yet after the winter. We do find an accessible one, but we quickly realized that the forest has been really damaged by the winter and kind of struggle on our way up. But it is only to better appreciate the way down. Every time we stumble. <laughs> Peligroso! <laughs> My leg just disappeared! Oh, damn! <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm good! <laughs> you too? I'm stuck till the hip! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are. You have to go all the way down there, the car park is. Oh, Mathilde! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, it's super steep. Oh. This is Lucy. Yeah, this is Lucy. Mm. But we're not there. Good morning, guys. What are you guys having? Chocolate mousse breakfast. No way! Homemade. Hand whisked. Hand whisked. <laughs> Hand whisked. Homemade. homemade. We did it last night and they're ready. Here, yeah, have a bite. Mmm. Mm. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> With the beautiful view and the crystal clear lake. Just like that, we concluded the Nawal Happy National Park. We have two days left until we need to cross the border again. And before that, we need to restock in the city of San Carlos de Bariloche. Short city stop in the city of Bariloche. The name of Bariloche comes from a local language that means people behind the mountain. And it's exactly the case with a big lake, battered by wind and white summit all around. It's really beautiful coming from the French Alps. For me, it reminds me a lot from home. So city stop means refueling, refilling water, refilling food. We bought some more fishing gear. Hopefully we can finish this week fishing more than one fish. One thing we do every time we're in a big city is we spend our time connecting to Wi-Fi. Already today, I connected in a supermarket, I connected at the public library, and I'm probably going to connect in the Empanada restaurant. I already talked about NordVPN several times. I think the main usage we made of it and why we got a VPN in the first place is to connect to public Wi-Fi's or Wi-Fi's that we don't know, like in restaurants, cafe, uh, public library, all of this. Why it is important is because in those places you don't know if the Wi-Fi is secured. First thing we do, we connect to our VPN and then we connect to the Wi-Fi and in that way we're sure like maybe if we buy something and use credit card credentials, nobody can steal them. It's really kind of a good tip for travel. We know many travelers that do the same and it's super reassuring. You can always just try NordVPN. We have a code, it's as usual NMX and you can use the link in the description. It's 30 days money back guaranteed. 
you can just try now let's go pick empanadas and we have other friends that happen to be in town if you remember black mamba they're here so let's go say hi to everyone thanks a lot to the good friends of nordvpn for sponsoring this video with our link in description you get four extra months on a two-year plan so it's worth trying hello black mamba Okay, we bought new hooks and we bought new fish. So this is fish and hooks from Argentina. Hopefully they will work better because six days only one fish. So I'm putting in now the new fish. I'm hoping that we will catch something because we were using we were using the Finnish fish, but here we need the Argentinian fish. All what's, right, let's go. What's the name of this fish? This fish is called uh, Bertrand. Bertrand. All right. Go catch some fish, Bertrand. And that is becoming a habit. Again, no success for this fishing session. And we almost saw Nick and Tom washed away by the river and transformed into fish food into the lake. Sixth or seventh day of fishing, still no fish. It I'm is incredibly sad, but luckily we've got nice steaks. There's me, he's just like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, that is the funniest video. Who's <laughs> gonna get like. He's like. Oh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> said goodbye to John and Nadine that are going back to Edvahiloche and in the snow we eat our last lunch with all the fruit and veggies because the, the Chilean border is very strict with that and then we head to the border. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully the road doesn't close the snow. Yeah. So Tom has a plastic bag on his shoe because his defender leaks from the window oh, no. onto his foot. Oh no! we did the same last time it's so much cheaper on the Argentinian side so before crossing we refuel and this snow makes me so happy and the guys as well it's so beautiful look at Jerry look at Jerry yeah. Yeah. Oh, my life, <laughs> <laughs> Snow is the best weather. <laughs> I'm loving all this snow, it looks so so good. I'm wondering if at the mountain pass it's going to be all snowy.
aquí para allá, no, no, hoy día no abre, sí. Hoy seguro no. no. Seguro que no. Seguro que no. Arriba había muchas vías de conviertos. Ah, ah. Es, 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 es. Pues si no, mañana a las 8 llegan y se pasan derecho por aquí para allá. Ok. Es lo mejor. Hacemos así. Ok, gracias. Okay. Gracias, gracias. Chao, gracias. amigos. Gracias. Chao. Chao. So border is closed for today. We confirmed with the police that were like stopping the trucks on the road. <coughs> but we have found a pretty nice camp spot. Yeah, right by the lake and uh, just by the border with Chile. It's amazing. So that shall be hopefully our last night in Argentina. We leave you here. We have a car tournament to finish. Spoiler, I lost. We see you again next week, this time we hope in Chile. We will go and discover the fascinating island of Chiloé. Until then, take care and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next week. Yeah. But don't look at me, you guys just have Cheers. a chat, have a chat. <laughs> Cheers.